can it go sideways? It, it can. We'll actually invite you to drive the robot yourself. That's a little scary for me. <laughs> it looks like it's, it's assessing who we are. So how long realistically would this be? About so this length? For the eventual Enceladus mission, it, it would be roughly this size, but it's modular. It's like one module that repeated 11 times. Very scalable. Yes, according to the mission. If our destination takes a decade to reach, you don't want to wait for a century to get the right science, right? So the whole point of EELS is versatility so that you can directly explore these unknown environments in one shot, Easy. the first mission. Uh, the big challenge is you have to deal with a lot of uncertainty because you are going in the unknown and you are very limited in bandwidth in terms of communication. So there's a lot of need for AI. So once you land there, the robot cannot just live stream all the video data. So it, it needs to have a lot of reasoning to make all the decisions on its own. So Rob is going to show how we've integrated a VLM, Vision Language Model, to bring some of these reasoning capabilities to the robot. Hey, Eels, can you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Eels, the extant exobiology life surveyor. I'm a snake-like robot designed to explore planets and moons, especially Enceladus. My mission is to navigate tough terrains, collect ice and water samples, and look for signs of life. 